Morning guys, I'm in Wigan. This has been a bit of online uh, complaining being done from the uh, LGBT community regarding one of their members who visited this building a few days ago and was asked to leave the premises because they didn't like the look of his hair at least I think that's the impression we got they didn't like the look of his hair investigate guys it's the gentleman sitting there in question I think right guys as I stated a member of the LBGT community was asked to leave the premises here well, I believe it was the library because they didn't like the look of his of that person's hair as you see what happens? I think, guys, there needs to be a uh, LGBT community protest at this building. Seems they don't take kindly to their members here. Yeah. Where's the library, love? Grand floor, we're going the left. Where's G? I'll take you right out. The library? Yeah. They told me to come up this way. Oh. oh. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> Grand floor, yeah? Hello, yeah, sir. Right Are you in charge here? I'm not in charge. Alright, it's uh, just a general inquiry. Yeah. Over, over the last few days, there's been some, uh, a lot of uh, information about this building online from the LGBT community. Okay. Apparently, one of our members was asked to leave this premises yeah. a few days ago because someone didn't like the look of his hair or that person's hair. I'm not worried about that. Ah. Who would I be speaking to here then? Just get... the library system. I can see if I can get a manager. Yeah. yeah I'll see I'm doing a report manager. on the incident, you see. Oh, no, I don't know what manager you think. Right. I don't know. Um, is it in the library or...? Yeah, there's a video of it that's been posted online. Is it? In this library, yeah. I don't know if it's in there. In fact, I think this female was in, in the video. You all right there? Oh yeah, yeah. Can we help you with anything at all? Yeah, do you want to have a chat somewhere? Can we have a chat? Yeah, what's it regarding? Uh, can't speak in front of this person here, so he's involved in it. So. Okay. Just, we can go in this meeting. Can I ask you not to record us while we're having a conversation with you? Because uh, we're not giving our permission for you to put that anywhere. This is a public building, isn't it? It is a public building. Right. But as members of staff... Have you got anything not, to hide? I have nothing to hide, no. Right, a few days ago there was a member of the... Can L we go into L There was a member of the LGBT community in this building, in the library, and was asked to leave because they didn't like the look of the person. I think that female was involved in the gentleman sitting upstairs. Now, as management level, I, I'm 
sure you wouldn't condone that sort of behaviour towards LGBT. We need a bit more background to why they The video's to online. Leave. That's why I'm here. Any incidents with LGBT community are, are going... But what was the reason they were asked to leave the library? Presumably because of how the person looked. They weren't breaking any laws, they weren't creating a disturbance. I don't think that that would be the case, no. if I'm perfectly honest Well, you need you. to watch the video. Well, I, I, I granted, but we don't know what's happened either side of the video. In either, fact, I'm we? surprised you haven't got a protest here, because there's talk online of a mass protest here from the LGBT community. It was that strong. Well, we, we're not privy to the full facts, unfortunately. We weren't involved in that incident. No, no, I'm not so saying you're involved, but I've watched the video, so I, that's why I've asked her to step away. It's not fair for me to talk about it in front of that person there, because she's, she's in so the video. So what is it that you're wanting from your visit? I'm just getting today. your side of the story, that's all, really. We because can't really give you our side if we weren't involved in yeah. it, with all due but respect. But you wouldn't condone that sort of behaviour, would you? Absolutely not. No, so no. I wouldn't have thought so. So you wouldn't have been asked to leave because of the way they looked or the well, they didn't. Or they didn't give a. In the video, they didn't give the person that was asking this person to leave didn't give a specific reason. But you. He wouldn't give a specific reason, so it had to be. We, with all due respect, you've always seen the video. Yeah. yeah. And, That's and why I'm not coming here and yes. saying you've done this, you've yes, done that. I'm, we, I'm asking. Yeah. But what I'm trying to there's say. There's two sides to every story, there isn't is, there? Absolutely. Yeah. And what I'm <laughs> trying to say is neither of us. Are privy to what's happened before the video started right. or after the video's ended. Okay. So to make an informed decision and to satisfy you that we would never behave in that it's way. Not me well, personally, well, it's not me personally, it's the community. Yeah. You know? Yes, I understand. So to satisfy you and the community, we would have to be privy to the full facts. Yeah. For us to make yeah, a comment a comment right. on it. Okay. So we're, all we're asking is that whatever you're filming us for, I've no issue with being filmed, but that it's not uploaded anywhere because with all due respect no, you're not. You're not the issue here. I think it's the two people upstairs that are the issue. So, but we we need the facts prior to the the person being asked. Right. To well, leave. you need to. We need to know the. I reasons. don't know the link to where the video was. Uh, it was posted to me. I got informed about it last night. Uh, so really, you need to start. I think there's going to be an investigation. There's probably going to be a big complaint from the the community going in. At high level, and, and if there is, then again, we would need to establish yeah. the facts prior to that person yeah. being asked to leave. Well, the best place you could start with is that female. I don't know her name. The, the female is our security yeah, staff here I know in that. the building. If and she, she was involved in, in yes. with the person, I yes. believe, on more than yeah. more than one visit. What I, I can say to you is, is security is here as a presence for both staff safety and customer safety yeah. and the building safety yeah. overall. Uh, that, uh, that female security guard tried to imply that the person was filming children, which is not a good thing to do. But this so is a public building. building. No, no, this was. Uh, there's three different videos of this person being here in this building. Uh, and the last one was to do with what I'm talking about now the LBGT community. Well, in one of the previous videos, that female security guard was having. A debate with said person and implied that the said person was could be filming kids you see and, that and that's not a very professional thing to say to a member of the public we, we, have a, we have a children's library and if we want to take a photograph of a child in doing an activity in the library we need their parents consent to do that yeah so that would have been why well that we can't have somebody filming around children but he wasn't filming around children but we children's library as well. Yes, I know, but you've also got a camera. You've got one, two, three, four cameras mm -hmm. over the children's library, I can see. So. Security cameras. Yeah, so it can't be an issue of filming. You know, it's not against the law to film children or inadvertently catch children in the background if you're doing a video. Well, you know? If you're going to be uploading it somewhere, you need that parent, the parent's consent. No, oh, you don't. You do. You don't. Yes, you do. You don't. Not if they're in the background. You know, if you're a pair about going around school, Playgrounds of filming kids, that's a different matter. But not if they're in the background. And what about walking down the high street? You know, if I go out of that street now filming, there'd be probably be hundreds we're of kids. We're in a public building and we have a responsibility, so we wouldn't, we can't take photographs of children in the library without their parents. Now, you see, that's, what, that, that's, that's, that's what one that's, of the gentlemen said to this person yeah. that we have a duty of care to the public. And on watching the videos, 
I watched the modern ones just to get all the facts. This gentleman didn't seem to be doing anything against the law. He wasn't breaking any laws. He wasn't harming anybody. And may not have been. No. But we have that duty of care to check yeah. and to make sure that we are looking after everyone that's in this building, be that staff, customer, yeah. partners in the building. I think it might have been just a fact. He was either, they didn't like the look of him, uh, I, or I honestly don't believe could be because that he was filming. Be case. Could be because he was filming, but it's a public I building. I think potentially so. the filming would have highlighted yes. his presence here. Yes, but it's not against the law to film in a public building, is it? Were you allowed to ask the question why? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was asked, but he said he was doing a selfie video of himself. Yeah. Lots of people do it on YouTube, don't they? They walk around filming themselves. They do, but if you in their day, really capture other people in that, then that's happened within our building, and it almost endorses that council have given permission for that, and we can't do that. No, it doesn't work like that. Well, the laws, you're, you're the laws inside this building are the same as out in the street. It's mm -hmm. a public building, paid for by taxpayers. Mm -hmm. So it's the same laws that cover inside this building as outside. Public photography law. It's exactly the same. I, I can't comment. I'm not an expert on it. Right. Um, yeah, no, you, I, you weren't here on the day, so I just thought I'd get your side that you would not it. condone if that sort of behaviour. We would not condone no. it. And we have also no. managers for Wigan Council. We would not condone it. But we would appreciate if you're not approaching our staff directly. We haven't spoken to them about you wanting to film or ask questions, and it isn't. Oh, I've got to interview them. them. If they choose not to speak to me, then. That's their choice, so that'll be the end of it. But I have to ask. As a reporter, I have to ask. Right. So, so. you are a reporter? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. why I told the, the gentleman. I'm here to make, he doing a report on it. Did we he not tell you? He didn't tell you? We haven't spoken to him, to be fair. Well, how did you know I was here? We were alerted by security that there was somebody filming in the building. Well, I, thought, I assumed that gentleman went and got you. I told him that I'm here doing yeah. a story on the subject. Yeah. Well, he said, I'll go and get a manager. Yeah. But then if you're a member of the press, then you should be speaking to our media and comms yes. team. No. Your inquiries yeah. should go no. through them. Yeah, I'm not sure. like your BBC. Uh, no, even Wigan Today or any, any local press go through our PR team. Yeah, but you don't get the real story then. You get, the, you, you get an edited version. You, know? you get an edited version. So I, I, I give real stories on the street. Yeah. Unedited for nobody's benefit. How it happens, that's how the people see it. So what is your intention now then? Because I need to look after my staff in this building. I'm, I'm not a threat to your staff. I'm not saying you're a threat no. in any way. But they might be that. concerned they, they, a bit what, they've, they, what they can say. And so we have to obviously cite I think they'll be more worried that they're going to be in trouble for what they've said. And done. No, I don't think that's the well, case. When you see the video, a lot of my staff, the video speaks for itself. Okay, and, and I accept that I haven't seen the video. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is I know for a fact a lot of my staff will not want to be filmed while they're doing the job. The gentleman in question would not have wanted to be victimised like he was. And I take your point on that, but we don't know that that's happened, so, do we? Yeah, we, we don't, there we could be some retraining coming, possibly, for members of staff possibly, here. Possibly. Once but you've I'm, seen I the video. Politely, that would be the least the LGBT community would expect. Yeah, once, you've, once you've seen the video, that would be the very least well, they would expect. Well, within my remit, I wouldn't be dealing with that. But as a manager, I am asking you politely today not to film my staff in this yeah. building without but I could politely permission. decline, can't I? You can. Yeah. I'm not here to cause trouble for anyone. You can. You know? I'm, I'm not saying you're here to cause trouble, but you'll certainly cause upset to staff that do not Well, want to sometimes to get to the truth, you have to, don't yeah, you? Well, I'm going to leave it there then. I'm yeah. Not, I'm, I'm not I going mean, to have I'll a further just, conversation with you. I'll speak to them on my way out. If they don't wish to speak, I'll, I'll leave the building. Right, okay. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not here okay. to upset well, anybody. I am going to observe what you're doing but you whilst you're with my staff so that I can safeguard staff if they're upset afterwards. So I will stay in the background. What about the LGBT member that's been upset? I can't comment on that, sir, because I wasn't but, here. But you weren't here that day. Why didn't you appear like magic that day to protect his rights? Well, I would have been in the building. I would have been in the building, but clearly another manager dealt with the issue on that day. I'm in the Is he a manager, today. the gentleman that's sitting up there in the chair with the bald head, blue shirt? In which chair? I don't know. Up which... there, at the front. I'm not aware that there's a man sitting up there. Yeah. He's from oh, the no. video. No, he was in the video. No, he's... he's building maintenance. Right. How do I get out? There was another gent. Oh, he's building maintenance. There's another gentleman there, bald head, white shirt. Is he a manager? I don't know. I don't know who it was. I'm it sorry. Was in, he was the one that was following the 
the person okay. around in, inside the library here okay. asking him to leave. Okay. Likely to have been a manager, I would say, yes, but I don't know who it was. Right. Okay. So we need to find him then, don't we? He was the he was the culprit, so to speak, on the video. Well, we, we, they don't work necessarily work out of this building every day. So they're not. We do, yeah, yeah. Any chance that that those hours are going to be extended in the future? Um, they are looking at. Right, ladies, yes. I've got yeah. all the information. Thank you for your time. Okay. I'll and leave it with you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't tell him I was doing a report on it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the building will be holding in 10 minutes time. Please make your way to the self-service sheet to be to check out the gangs. Thank you. You're not following me, ladies, are you? Yes. Well, that could be construed as harassment. That may be so, but I'm safeguarding my staff who don't yeah. want to be filmed today. So I don't mean to harass you. I don't mean to put you under any pressure, but I know we were that. protecting our staff. They may feel uneasy, or you know, not knowing what who you are, or what what the, you know what they're meant to say, or what they're not meant to say. So we're protecting. Are you worried about that they'll say something they shouldn't no. say? No, not, not at all. all. Not at all. No. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> You need to go up the next set of stairs if you want him to get to the main floor. Go on, ladies first. I don't want you to film me from behind, I'm sorry. Right, I'll turn it away then. Up to you. Go on, I don't feel comfortable that you're walking behind me, so go on. I'll turn the camera away. I don't feel comfortable that you've got that camera on me. I'm sorry. Maybe you should stop following me then. Maybe you should do what we ask, which was please stop filming in our building. It's not your building. It's our building. It's the people's work. building. The people's building, then. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's purple, purple. Hi, were you involved in the incident the other day with the LGBT community member? You were on the video. No comment? No? And conveniently. The security guard's not here, where is she? Oh, that was while I was talking to you, but... Sorry. Have you sent her off, have you? You asked me to. Yeah, just away from our conversation, that was all. I asked her to leave, and that's what she's done. Yeah. She'll be back later, won't she? Sorry? She'll be back later. Are you just closing for lunch? No, we close at two. Every day? All right. Where's the staff entrance? Sorry? Where's the staff entrance? The staff entrance? Everybody comes out here. Right. Okay, ladies, thank you for your time. Go guys, tyranny. They've hidden the security guard away so that she can't say anything she's not supposed to say. She's already said too much that she shouldn't have said, guys. He was involved in the video. This one here, this one. No doubt, Mr. CCTV guy that followed the uh, LGBT member here will probably turn up. Close at two o'clock every day. Jesus Christ, guys, we pay these council workers a fortune and they don't even do a full day's work. Part timers. See how quick they were to 
say, oh, no, 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 we wouldn't condone that sort of behavior. But there was no sign of them on the day. But God, they're standing on guard now, guys, like security. Something tells me she's going to go out the back door, guys. That security guard. Without a doubt. Word to the LGBT community, guys. You need to be uh, watching Reggie Photo's video. And then coming here and voicing your opinions, guys. A statue of somebody, guys, but no information about what he is or who he is. Hello. I was wondering if you had uh, anybody high level management available to speak to. Appointments only, I'm afraid. Appointments only? Yeah, because it's close to the public. Say again. The building is closed to the public and I don't agree with that being on there. The building is closed to the public? It is. So, how did, how did I get in then? Because you tailgated somebody. I tailgated somebody? Am I guilty of an offence there? Is this, is this not a public reception? No. No? So is that the end of the matter? Yes. That's a bit abrupt, isn't it? I've asked a civil question. No? no. How rude, guys. How rude. Our town. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Not your town. Okay. Am I okay? Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, you're not really. Anything? Well, I came in here okay. asking if there was anybody at high level management I could speak to. Who are you? In what sense? Who are you? Yeah, Ian Ashton. Sorry? Ian Ashton. You work for the council? Yeah, I do. All right. Is this lady with you? Yeah. Back up. No, no. no. Can I just work with him? Sorry? I just work with him. I just came in here, there's been an incident over at that building over there. Okay. What of uh, controversy on social media. Okay. Videos on YouTube regarding the LGBT community. So I've gone there this morning to do a report on it and get their side of it. Uh, got nowhere with them. So I'll come in here to right. ask to speak to a manager right. and bring the situation to their level, right. their attention. And the gentleman behind there was quite rude, said you need an appointment and then just went out there and everybody's staying out there, nobody's speaking to me. Why can't they just speak to me like you? Uh, I'm not I'm not here to harm anybody, I, I just know. asked if I could speak to a management, What's that was all. I don't know anything about this. Apparently instance. there was a bit of discrimination towards a LGBT community member. From Wigan Council? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. you, you haven't seen the videos. You haven't seen the videos. Alright. So, and that's, that's it, so right. I was told this is not a public building, so you won't know that until you come in. Mm. <laughs> I'm not from this town, so. Don't know the and then you've come and that was it. I was right. about to leave, but right. you've come. Right. So there is no way of speaking mm. to a manager? Uh, you do have I to don't. Make an appointment. Mm. Do they close here at two o'clock as well? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know that. You're not from this building? 
I'm not, no. Not from this. Uh, I'm just from that, I, don't, I don't work from this, this uh, facility here. Right, where do you work then? I work downstairs in CCTV. Ah, there was a CCTV gentleman involved with this person. Yes. Ah, so you'll be well aware of the situation then. I am aware of it. I am aware of the situation on it. Uh, but Why would they send you to speak to me? Uh, I'm I curious. Went, I became aware. Of him. I went to. Uh, You've been called here, have you? I've been made aware of it, and I thought I'd just call up and speak to you. That's very strange. Why are members of the CCT? You're not a police officer, are you? Oh no, you're not no, a security no, no, officer. No, no, no. Why would you be confronting members of the public? Huh? Not confronting you, I'm just, just asking why. I'm trying to yeah, but it shouldn't be. I could have been a mad axeman with a machete and taken your head off. Couldn't I? Just, just it's a police officer's moment. job to do that. Mm. Uh, I mean, if you've genuinely come to help me, then fair enough. Mm. Uh, but I don't think members mm. of CCTV mm. control rooms should be following members of the public or coming to see what's going on. Really? I'm sure that's not in your job description. So Ian manages the, the concierge staff, mm. so the, the security staff who yeah. cover the fly centre and these buildings. Right. Okay. So that's why Ian's been yeah. called. Ah, so you're for the building? The, CC, the building CCTV no, or the no, town no, centre no, no, CCTV? No, no. no, it's the concierge officers who deal with the life centre now. Right, I thought you meant town centre CCTV. Yeah. No, you yeah. don't. I'm uh, working with it. It's part yeah. of that as well. Part of that as well? Yeah. Right, okay. Well, it's all a bit strange. They do it different here, I think. <laughs> I've never been no. approached by a member from the. In fact, in other towns, I've knocked on the door of the CCTV control room trying to get answers, and nobody's answered the door. Uh, you don't have a door you can knock on? You don't. <laughs> I bet you've got a secret door. I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> hey? Um, can I just ask, though? Can you tell us why you are here? Can, I'm I, was doing a, yeah. I was doing a report on the report. discrimination incident with the LGBT member in the library. Okay. A few days ago, I think it was. Well, I'm assuming. So then we probably take your details and get somebody to contact you who knows about it. Maybe. Well, nobody I seems to know about it. This gentleman yeah. seems to know a bit about Well, I'm aware of it. You're aware of it, yeah. yeah. No. So you'll know that the... The person in question was harmless, uh, just because he's a bit strange and a bit different, you know, doesn't warrant being followed by the, your boss I presume it was? Was he a bit strange and a bit different who decides mm. that? Exactly, but, you know, just because it looks different, I mean, you've got nice red hair, mm -hmm. but some people might not like that. Some people might judge you wrongly because you've got your hair dyed red, you know? Hey, I don't so, know. <laughs> we wish. <laughs> so, on the basis, I've seen these videos mm. on YouTube, so I've made an assumption based on what I've seen, okay. but there's two sides to every story. Yes. Yeah? So I do. that's what I'm saying, if we can take your details and get whoever dealt with the situation to contact you. You could take my yeah. details, but you won't. Why not? <laughs> because <laughs> I've got everything I need. I've just come oh, here okay. to put the council side of the story over. I spoke to two managers over there, right, okay. you know. I've got them to clarify that they wouldn't condone that sort of behaviour. Absolutely. And if they, they couldn't really comment because they haven't seen the videos. I think once you see the videos, you'll make a different judgment, you know, based on well, just what I'm telling you. You can't just believe what I'm telling from you, can you? From a Wigan Council point of view, we do have a culture and one of the behaviours is to be kind and yeah, if we yeah, were yeah. kind. I mean, the female security guard over there on the video, and I, I, I repeated it a few times just to clarify what I heard that she did say it. She implied that the person might be filming kids, which is wrong to say that to a member of the public. I'm guessing she wouldn't have implied that, but it is a children's area, isn't it, at the back of the library? There is, yeah, but so I he wasn't even inside the building at this time. But had he been? No. Okay. Well, he hadn't been in the library. I think he'd been in reception. But that's wrong, from a professional point of view, for a security guard to say that to a member of the public just because they've got a camera. You haven't said it to me. You haven't said it to me. Nobody said it to me today. I have been reasonable with you, haven't yeah. I? You've been very yeah. polite, yeah. So that's appreciated. If you become famous, famous you become famous for the right reasons. <laughs> for showing the council how it should be, you know, and not how they behaved <laughs> with this. I 
would like a similar request for myself if possible. Say that again. I would like a similar request for myself if I'd possible. I'd like to keep your nice hair in as well. No, I need... Uh, we're need in the same club, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Uh, when somebody turns up to a council building filming, it obviously raises a bit of... Yes, but why? Suspicion. Why? Because it doesn't normally happen, does it? It's not a regular... I spoke, I stood and had a conversation like this with the deputy head of Leyland Council, yeah? And he stood and he told me, chatted away, answered all my questions, even told me how much he gets paid a year and how many holidays and things like that. You know, he had nothing to hide. You might get that from the head of Wigan Council, but mm -hmm. they might not be available today. Yeah, it would be good if they were. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If You're you, gonna give me a wink. No, you don't get. You don't get right. the right. Give an email address. No, you don't get the right. Catch people on the hop. You know, that's when that's when you get the truth. You know, is it? If you have nothing to hide, <laughs> that's what that's what policemen always say to suspects, isn't it? So if you've I, got nothing to hide. Personally, from a Wigan Council employee point of view, I yeah. don't think. I've got anything to hide from the no. council. I tell you my job, what I do. Mm. So I work for the environmental enforcement team, but I'm an admin supervisor. Right. So I'm not I'm not of CCTV no. ilk. I don't know anything about filming and stuff like that. He'll know photography law. You should know photography law. <laughs> like the back of your hands, because I do. <laughs> I do. Um, and I'll openly admit to that. But if, if I was on the front desk and somebody came in filming me, I would think, why are they filming me? Yeah. But when I went over there, the first person I spoke to, I explained, I'm a reporter, I'm here to do uh, a story on the, the incident. He went off, got a manager, two female managers came over, but he hadn't told them that I'm a reporter doing a story on it, you see? So, 20 minutes after the conversation, they got quite offended when they found out I was a reporter. I said, I told the guy, did he not tell you? So... So, whereabouts in Scotland do you think? Ooh... He's <laughs> not even telling me. <laughs> a little bit up to the right. So I'm from Dunfermline. I was born and bred in Dunfermline. Were you? Yes. Yeah. Born and bred in Dunfermline. Okay. Moved down to here because my dad was a miner. He was a miner? Sure. That's a man that'll know about hard work then. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good to hear that. Absolutely. My dad was a. Once he came out of the army, he did all sorts of jobs. Bin Man was one of them. Huh? Remember in the days when bin men so used to have to. That's where I work, that's my normal base where the bin men are. Is it? But not, it? not where they have to lift. When they the have to lift the bins on their back? Yeah. Hey, not like now where they struggle to pull it to we the wagon. Hey? You break your fingernail, they put a claim in, don't they? Yeah. Oh, so you, do you still not want to give me an email address so I can no, get somebody no. to contact you? No, no. No, if I want more information, I know where to come. Well, you do, but you might be. You might get better. I don't know. You'll get better appreciated, won't you? Because you'll get. Not appreciated. Appreciated is the wrong word. Preston Council. Welcome. I've been invited. No, it's one of the depots, recycling depots, where all the bin wagons go, yeah. Yeah. the road sweepers and all that. We've been invited for a tour there. Yeah. Uh, when the place is closed, because there's lots of parts of it that. So are they contacting you? <laughs> uh, How can I help there's you? lots of parts, like historical you. parts let that me, the public don't let see. Let me contact you. Let me sort it all out. Yeah, now. You're just fishing for this guy. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. Don't work with him. Yeah. I work, it, I, I can work on here, down here. His boss is not. Yeah, is your boss in today? The one who was on the video? No. He, yes, he's in work, but he's not in Wigan. Um, what, he covers more than one oh. area? Yeah. Does he? Yeah. What? Well, we've got Wigan and Lee. Wigan and Lee, is that sorry? We've got more than two buildings. We've got the buildings all over the borough, so. Mm. But he's not here at the moment. Right. Because obviously I want to come up and admin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so I'm getting nowhere here. Oh, let me have your you email address and let me sort it out. A proper formal meeting for you. No. And I promise you, I promise you, I think, uh, if you have my word, I won't pass your details on to anyone else. I think this stuff on social media from the LGBT community, and I'm not happy about this. It's, that's not right. I it's going to... I hope you're not correct there, because... No, I'm just saying what I've seen. The snippets... The snippets of a, a big protest here from the LGBT community. Uh, well, I hope that doesn't happen, because or we are very, very inclusive. Or, if there's 
in our own team? Yeah, there's bound to be, yeah. So that's why I was shocked at the video. That's what was shocking about it. Because they're everywhere in all aspects of the community. You know? It's not like a, a community that's shunned away at the edge of the town, is it? You know, it's oh, normal absolutely. everyday people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, hopefully, there'll be maybe high level members of the community that will just contact high level management here, you know, sort it out that way. And then give an apology. Personally, I think. The person should come back here and get a personal apology from the two members of staff over there, so face to face. Yeah. And how's that person contactable? Yeah. How's that person contactable? You have to search. <laughs> <laughs> He'll know more of who he is. <laughs> or your boss will. No. I'm imagine. Call you. you look like you might be a... Don't be rude. Mm -hmm. I've been called oh, some real bad things, me. Real bad things. John. So I'm going to call you John. Right. So, John, next time you come back here, yeah. can I ask you Nikki? Nikki. Can you come here and help me out Are you sure you don't want to be famous? But did I, but did I um, get your name right? You might have done. <laughs> what did you say your name was? Ian. Ian. All right then. And what was your boss's name? On the uh, video. Yeah. Hey. Keith. 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 Yeah. Right. Okay. Because I don't think he ID'd himself, did he? I'm not sure if he did. I'm not. I didn't really watch him in great detail. So is that normal then? Practice for CCTV operators to go out and speak to people. Is it a new concept in the council? No. I I told you this at the start. Oh. Too much so going on. We have a, we have you know, when you're talking, I don't mean to be rude, but when you're talking to me, my eyes are, I'm watching everybody, you know what I mean? It's very unusual. <laughs> we have a concierge service. Right. So it obviously maintains the safety of staff and visitors to our buildings. Yes. So CCTV manage the concierge no, that's about section. team. Right. So obviously when the concierge were obviously in a bit of distress or didn't really mm. understand what was going on, He's a rude man. If he didn't speak to me like you, he was just very rude and obnoxious. Um, I apologise for that. that I don't apologize. find that with David, personally. But, um, well, maybe he just so, didn't yeah, like the camera. So, you've maybe. me off what I was saying. I know I've got a script at that. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> um, so, they, they manage the concierge staff. So, when the concierge yes, staff may be in a bit of distress or may not know what, how to respond. Uh, yeah, how to respond to a situation. Right. They Was it you? Did you do Ooh, it? What? Win the lottery. I wish. <laughs> yeah, somebody from this council won the lottery. The Euro lottery. Really? Yeah. Have they not gave you your share? I wish. No, oh, tight buggers, that. aren't they? I think it was her. I wouldn't still be working. <laughs> I wouldn't still be in you, Wigan. You not love your job then? I love my job, but I wouldn't still be in Wigan. That was another question. <laughs> I'd be in the the, the the said person involved over there asked the security guard, the female security guard, he just asked her if, if she liked working for the council. How was it working for the council? And she went and complained to somebody else saying he was asking personal questions. You know? The same one that made the... Different yeah. Different yeah. It's, I mean, it's so all I'm saying is, mm. I've been in lots of towns, mm. yeah, filming, reporting, confronting, arguing, but never have I had a, I had a member of the CCTV mm. team approach me. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if it's a new thing, you know, that's um, going to happen in every town. No, but obviously what happened today was right. the female security staff was upset because upset? she didn't want to speak to her. Oh, right. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't want to address her, did you? No, because the two managers arrived at exactly the same time. Oh, okay. Well, that explains it So, more. because she was in the video and involved in it, I thought it's not right to right, okay. stand and speak about her in front of her bosses. Yeah. So, I, I said, we'll have the private conversation right. with the two managers. So, you thought you were speaking to her bosses, but when indeed you, Ian is her boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that's right. why Ian's come back. Okay. So, I wasn't rude to her. Does that make sense? I just felt it was better that I spoke to the management there 
without her present Absolutely. to begin with. That was all. I wasn't rude or anything. I'm, I'm, she, I come to get both sides. Her, though. She's a very, very good member of staff. She's very, very Maybe she was just having a bad day that day. Person. I hope so, because a couple of the things she said was not nice. You know? There's things that she shouldn't be saying to members of the public, regardless if she doesn't like what they're doing or she doesn't want to be filmed. She's in a public role, yeah. you know? So, a little bit of retraining there, I think. Which, yeah, that's fair. That's fair, we can take that criticism. Yeah, because, like that gentleman there, you said he's a nice chap. He probably is, but I asked him to speak to a manager. He said, no, it's appointments only, this is not a public reception. And I'm not happy about that thing being on me. And then stormed off. So he probably didn't like being filmed. So that shows him in a different light from the person he really is, you know? Or he might not have got laid last night. It could be a hundred different things, couldn't it? Why somebody's having a bad day, you know? Yeah. Could be anything. Got money worries, financial problems, the kids could be on drugs, their wife could be having an affair. A hundred different reasons why somebody can come across as a bad person on the wrong day. Do you know what I mean? So, the person we're talking about, who was doing the filming, he's a really nice guy. You know? So, anyway, I think... Are you sure you're not going to give me your contact details? No, Nikki. I think you want to take me out to dinner, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. If that makes you happy, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> expense account. Have you got an expense account? <laughs> I wish I did. I'm joking, Nikki. I'm joking. So, as you'll know, we mean no harm. We come in peace. Uh, and we have a bit of fun on the way. Okay. You're a star. It's been nice talking to you. And don't ask where I'm going now. You're, prob you're going to follow me with the cameras, aren't you? You will. You will. You'll follow me all the way back to the bus station when I get on the bus. Won't you? Eh? So do you say? I don't Oh, I'll just give it away there, haven't I? I've made your job easier. You might catch about four different buses before going away. John, it's been nice speaking to you. See you later. Take care. Have a nice day, folks. Well guys, a couple of nice people there. Strange, another member of the CCTV team approaches a member of the public. Very strange, but nice people. Polite, respectful. Why couldn't uh, the two people that uh, confronted... Whoa! guys got distracted there for a second I thought that was the Royal Jordanian coming to town is that my taxi blues and twos that's usually my taxi sound guys Just stop following me. Anyway guys, later.